Okay, it's getting tight, it's getting tight. Well, that got those separated, the 60 and 16 separated. And that may be all the others needed because look at how far back they have dropped. Down the back stretch, it is the 18 of Kyle Busch. He has never won here in seven prior starts. Look oh, out, no Mike spin, Wallace. Mike yeah. Wallace, and he's uh -oh. up. And Wallace gets back on all fours. The 38 of Leffler is also involved. The race is going to end under caution. And we'll have to wait for the exact time the caution came out, but here's the replay. See a lot of people with run. You can see Mike Wallace having a big run here, getting a push from Elliott Sadler. That's where it's all going to start as he tried to make a move. Yeah, it was a good race. Uh, Mike sure made this race team look good. Uh, we got to think. James Finch, that was his race car. <laughs> You know, it was a good race. Brad done a heck of a job in the pits. Mike done a wonderful job driving. Jason Jarrett was a heck of a spotter. Joe Nemechek kept us going all day long. I mean, we couldn't have done it without Joe. Joe pushed us there, and, and, and it was just good, man. I don't know. It's uh, close, but no cigar, you know, but that's why we work 18 hours a day and seven days a week at my shop with about eight people, you know. So it, it's very rewarding to come here and do this with this this group of cars and this people here. And you know, there's a lot of people here. We struggle paying our bills, man. There's a lot of people here trying to help us out of the cup garage, out of the nationwide garage. And, like I say, I just couldn't thank James Finch enough for what all he's done for us. I guess we'll have to pay him for a race car now, but, you know, we had a good day, and I'm sure he's smiling for us too, him, Nick, and all those boys over at their shop. So. They showed them they were here today, guys, for sure, Vince.